Hello and welcome back in this new episode of the Python tutorial series. Today I'll teach you how to move polygons on screen following the coordinates of the mouse. As always, I don't restart the program from zero, but copy the previous version, that is the part 16 of the tutorial. So Ctrl A to select all, Ctrl C to copy, and Ctrl V to past. Then we must do some changements. We don't want this on draw event, but instead we want the on mouse motion event that takes in input the X and Y position where the mouse is located and the, the X and the Y position where the movement is happened. And this changement is because we want to use the X and Y position in our function. If you remember our create polygons function create a polygon situated in the center of the screen. If you want to change its position you must want a X position and a Y position position where the polygons is moved for i in range len vertex remember that the vertex array is structured in this way x1 y1 z1 x2 y2 z2 etc if i mod 3 equals 0 then the vertex e parameter that is a x coordinate must be moved by the x position so minus equal x position instead if i mod 3 is equal to 1 vertex i represent a y coordinate and so we must decrease it by the, the y position now in the create polygons function we must add the x and y position and then we can run the program it's working but there is some problem the center of the square is moved from the center of the mouse and if you notice if i move the mouse in the left lower corner the square goes to the center so to align the coordinates we must remove half of the width and half of the height. We can easily access the width of the window by the parameter savewindow.width and in a similar way height is equal to savewindow.height. Then instead of using the x and y variables we pass to the create polygons function the x minus width divided by 2 and y minus 8 divided by 2. Then if I run the program, the square follow the mouse. But there is another problem here. If I start to zoom the square, something strange happens sometimes and the square inverts its coordinates. This is because the on mouse scroll function that I defined in a previous episode is wrong. In fact, we invert the minus and plus sign in the GL ortho function. So to do something cuter, we select a variable zoom that is equal to 1. If we enter in this if statement, the zoom become 1.01 and if we enter in this other condition, the zoom become 0 0.99 and then glort function is minus zoom zoom minus zoom and zoom now always must be okay the square becomes bigger bigger and bigger today's episode hands here i hope you enjoy it see you next tutorial